hello guys uh, welcome to our lecture 8 part 2 so ask him as you change to the question to say emirates system sir we will not honor case studies so I'm not who be she case studies they gonna I'm not scared of within the case studies okay so these three case studies are number one is RFID or regular uh, radio frequency identification the second one is wireless sensor networks and the third one is Internet of Things. Okay, so uh, these all are examples of embedded systems. So it in the embedded system at uh, case study I'm ready to Okay. All right. So uh, so uh, sorry. So uh, if you want to, I'm I'm saying that you can use RFID, you can use course and kind of smart card, you can use course and kind of. So all are. Uh, RFIDs, uh, RFIDs. So uh, RFID idea hoche, these were developed to automate the process of object identification and it contains electronic tags called RFID tags that can be read from a small distance by an RFID reader. Okay. An RFID reader does not require a direct line of sight to the RFID tag. The RFID tag stores the unique electronic product code EPC of the attached object. So basic idea is that we use the electronic electronic tag use for the RFID reader it starts to emit some signal, some sort of signal. It is a voltage induced so the magnetism is induced. This amount of magnetism is used to electronic code or the electronic uh, uh, bar code or the vector product code shit I'm Rama the reader as a party okay so this is called an RFID tag at uh, RFID tag director uh, interesting should be the data set say you do not need to uh, touch anything you do not need a direct contact okay and this can be uh, very easily used in almost any types of products okay so I'm gonna then for example I can car uh, on a uh, smart shop cool at the RFID tag the key jama kapur to can RFID tag the key right our who chair uh, uh, I'm there office gula they on a key I'm a smart uh, ID card use query which are RFID tags and so on okay. all right so RFID tag dimensions RFID uh, tag on a uh, car a star party okay so since an RFID tag has to be attached to every object, the cost of an RFID tag is a major issue. So RFID tag comes in various shapes and sizes and continue to increase in size. Uh, RFID tags are Im uh, implantable and implants have been approved in humans as well as animals. Right. Okay. So RFID tag size is uh, a the RFID tag is a comparatively active visiting card. At home we can see a very small almost nano RFID tags okay now comes the RFID reader so the RFID reader can act as a gateway to the internet and transmit the object identity together with the read time and the object location so that is the location of the reader to a remote computer system that manages a large database it is thus possible to stack objects in the real time and applications are toll gets hospitals and large organizations public transportation systems tracking of animals libraries and so on right so RFID reader ta hoche amar ekta simple gateway hisebe use kore on it a kind of like a barcode reader okay so she jeta kore she hocche ekta RFID tag ke she identify kore identify kore ekta server er kache pathay dey for post processing so then the RFID uh, server can either reject the tag or accept the tag and do whatever it wants okay all right so now comes uh, one important thing the amra rfid tag the the information of patachi that's called a uh, electronic product code so a typical epc has a length of 96 bits and contains the following fields okay uh, uh, ip header or ip packet jahan pathe kar jamon kichu specific field ase any electric uh, electronic product code which specific field does it okay so it has one header of eight bits defines the type and the length of all subsequent fields the second is the epc manager or electronic product code manager 28 bits 
specifies the entity, most often the manufacturer that assigns the object class and serial number in the remaining two fields. Okay, So the third one is the object class, specifies a class of the objects similar to the optical barcode. And fourth one is object identification number, a 36-bit number contains a serial number within the object class. Okay, So jhetu is a 36-bit number you can actually create a uh, to 36 different products with this 36-bit uh, combination, okay? All right. So the EPC is a unique product identification but does not reveal anything about the properties of the product. Two things that have the same properties but are designed by two different manufacturers will have completely different EPCs. So, if you have a unique uh, object, you can EPC identify the EPC, okay? And uh, these are used to identify each object individually, uniquely. Okay. All right. Acha. So, do you have any RFID card? Pause. Ek ta camera bolu hoche passive RFID tags and ek ta bolu hoche active RFID tags. So we will take a look to both. Okay. So the first one, the passive RFID tags. Uh, the passive RFID tags do not have any power supply. Okay. So they get the power needed for their operation from energy harvested out of the electric field that is beamed on them by the RFID reader. The energy required to operate a passive tag of the latest generation is below 30 milliwatt and the cost of such a tag is below 5 cents. Okay? So a passive RFID tag is the same thing as the power of the battery is not the power of the battery. And the power requirement is the same thing. शे RFID जी रीडर एर कास्ते आमी ताके धोड़ते सी अथबा ताके स्कैन कोड़ते सी तार कास्ते के शे कालेक्ट करे ओके वेरलेसली आच्छा Due to the low level of the available power and the cost pressure on the production of RFID tags the communication protocols of passive RFID tags do not conform to the standard internet protocols so spe uh, specially designed communication protocols between the RFID tag and the RFID reader that consider the constraints of passive RFID tags have been standardized by the ISO 180006C, also known as the EPC Global Gen 2, and are supported by a number of manufacturers. Okay, so a uh, basic idea is that we have the internet data, which we have to use the normal protocol, the TCP IP protocols, the UDB protocols, and so on. So, as I use the RFID tag, we have to use the power requirement. आवर होच्छे तार कम्युनिकेशन कॉर्डर अथवा जो हमारे आरएफआई टैगेज ही प्राइस कोला शेगुलर प्राइस खूब कम हुई तो हाई सो दैट्स वाय हमारा ए रकम स्टैंडर्डाइज वही टीसीपी आईपी पैकेट इंटरनेट से तक कनेक्टेड हुए ताप पर एक तर पैकेट पढ़ी लाम शेरकोम प्रोसेस से हमारा पढ़ी दे पारी ना so that's why uh, uh, shekhane amra kichu specific uh, communication protocol ni aschi jeta hocche amader uh, iso standard the standardized kora ebong specifically it's called an iso 18006c okay now which is also known as the epc global gen 2 and eta uh, korar karone jeta ekta problem hoy seta hocche rfid tag er data communication is uh, quite insecure okay so uh, i'm not i'm jaina uh, recently on a uh, anti rfid uh, rfid blocking uh, wallets power or equipment power jeta rfid card ke read kora theke biroto rakhe so uh, basically idea hocche amader amra onek shomoy erokom rfid tag use kori jeta je keu je kono muhurte just can read it from anywhere right कारण शे एक तो पावर पहले शे तार निजर जे कम्युनिकेशन कॉलर खामोता शे टा यूज़ करे शे होते हैं कौन एक डाटा पढ़ाई दीवे सो ए जगह होते हैं हमारे आईएसओ स्टैंडर्ड टा आज चे जेकने वी स्पेसिफाई जेसे कौन धरने रीडर के साथ है कम्युनिकेशन करते पार भी अथवा कौन धरने रीडर से तो कम्युनिकेशन करते प the second one is called uh, uh, active RFID tags. So active RFID tags have their own onboard power supply. The lifetime of an active tag is limited by the lifetime of the battery and typically in the order of a year. So, I'm not sure how to active RFID tags you will use quick. So, you will add what's your motor to a battery tag either renew or it has to be discarded. 
So active tags can transmit and receive over a longer distance and typically in the order of hundreds of meters and can have sensors to monitor the environment, sometimes support standard internet communication protocols. An active RFID tag resembles a small embedded system and these are more expensive. Okay. All right. So it can act a short uh, parameter that was say for a typical low cost passive RFID tag. Alright, so uh, that storage has to check so at least bits of read only memory. Uh, the memory is 32 to 128 bits of volatile read write memory. The gate count is around 1000 to 10,000 gates. Okay, gates both the AND gates or gates, NAND gates. Okay. Operating frequency is around 868 to 956 megahertz, uh, ultra high frequency. Clock cycles per read is around 10,000 clock cycles. Uh, the scanning range is around 3 meters, performance is around 100 read operations per second and tag power source is passively powered by reader via RF signal, radio frequency signal and power consumption is around 10 micro watts. Okay. All right. So uh, that's all about uh, RFID tags and RFID. So uh, that uh, case study includes uh, how RFID works, what types of RFID are there, what constraints RFID has while designing them okay all right so let's move on we will uh, do the second scenario this is called a WSN or wireless sensor network okay so uh, wireless sensor network idea uh, uh, we define a wireless sensor network as a set of sensor nodes that each contains a sensor a microcontroller and a wireless communication controller so could basic idea both should I mean, for example, we want to deploy a set of sensors to uh, to uh, dictate home automation. Suppose, okay. So home automation, for example, we want to sensor network uh, define. Suppose, all right. So, shekhane, our only one sensor door can hit the right? Ekhon, if I can manage to uh, uh, make a communication protocol between each of the sensors individually. Then we, uh, what we get is called a wireless sensor network. So, jekhane ek shathe one gula sensor tara nijera nijeder moto communication korte pare. Shei dhoner network ki amra chhu wireless sensor network bolli. So, ekhane dekhen amra ekhane ekta example dawa sse. Ekhane amra ekta differential pressure field unit use korte sse. Ekta temperature field unit use korte sse. Ekta pressure field unit use korte sse. Ekta discrete input field unit use korte sse. And match kan ekta base radio sse which communicates with each of them and they in the whole creates a wireless sensor network okay all right so a uh, sensor node can acquire a variety of physical chemical or biological signals to measure properties of its environment it's a sensor right okay so like a wsn node is kind of like a sensor but a sensor is a communicator show us all right like a transceiver show us so this is a typical structure of a WSN node which has a battery which may have a flash which may have some sensors which may have a computational unit a main computation unit MCU uh, one transceiver to send and receive data and an RFDC wake up okay radio frequency direct current wake up uh, signal all right okay so one major constraint of WSN uh, nodes is that sensor nodes are resource constraint because they are powered either by a small battery or by energy harvested from its environment. So, I'm going to show you weather balloons. These weather balloons are a prime example of WSN networks. So, protect weather balloon, bibino jagai, bibino geological location, data collect, and data connect a base station, a relay, right? Ebong, uh, e Yagula chulta se, a weather balloon gula chulta se, tarakin self power, shazan to solar powered high. Okay. Uh, so uh, they have to have some constraint, right? She cook uh, high powered air con device chalate parbana, but uh, it can survive on very small power uh, generated by the solar energy. Okay. So they are either powered by small battery or by energy harvested from its environment and have limited computational power, a small memory, and constrained communication capabilities. Okay. So these are the constraints we face in a WSN node. Okay. 
So WSN deployment and operation, uh, a number from few tens to millions of sensor nodes are deployed either systematically or randomly in sensor field to form an ad hoc self-organizing network. The WSN collects data about the targeted phenomenon and transmits the data via an ad hoc multi-hop communication channel to one or more base stations that can be connected to the internet. Okay. So uh, WSN network, our doshta sensor thakte pare majhumonte sensor node thakte pare majhumonte there can be millions of sensor nodes. So, Jee amra jemon weather balloon er kotha bollam. There are millions and millions of weather balloons that work together to uh, send us data. Okay. Uh, for example, satellites. These satellites are looking at WSN deployment as a WSN network. Uh, because we have to use the GPS. Use the GPS is a total test satellite. This is the test satellite, geo stationary satellites. They are uh, rotating around the world okay, in fixed orbits. Even Tara time to time. A uh, data gula ke update code se bole, we can get uh, geolocation data. Okay. So that's an also an example of uh, uh, WSN deployment where the satellites uh, is a very small, uh, just 23 uh, sensor network, uh, node director network, uh, whereas the weather balloons uh, may be a million or a thousand uh, 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 sensor networks. Okay. So, uh, wireless sensor network is uh, a function. Dekhi, okay? So, the phase one uh, we uh, detect neighbors and establish communication. So, basically, we are doing self arranging. So, we are doing an environment. Mod, mod, mod dilam. It will try to find out if there is a communicating neighbor. Ase, and then it will try to relay data from itself to its adjacent nodes okay so uh, uh, in the phase one it tries to detect neighbors and establish communication in phase two it learns about the arrangement in which the nodes are connected to each other the topology of the nodes and build up ad hoc multi-hop communication channels to a base station so either idea would say i'm going to connect a sensor network act node take a rx server suppose data party the chai we always have to ensure jamar data partner you know such a minimum hop on a grid so how can they send data so they can connect in two ways act they can connect directly to a base station or a base manager got actor towers at the comma mobile towers at the second it could apply although it can connect to another wireless network sorry wireless node okay so, if you have an actor sensor, you can communicate with the actor sensor, and you can communicate with the actor sensor. So, now, the actor sensor is that the mobile base is the distance of the base. So, what do you do? 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 So, what and then it will go on until and unless there is one wireless sensor node which can directly communicate with a base station ebong she tokhon jeta korbe she hocche joto joner kach theke joto data paise sei data gulo she base station e pathai dibe but in order to efficiently send this data you have to create a topology such that our distance from uh, one specific wireless sensor node to the base station is minimum right so shei jonno she topology of uh, node ta dekhe Arrangement to the key have a share connected and then finally builds up an ad hoc multi hop communication channel to a base station kind of like I'm not a computer network say a routing table from the post sector routing table to you and a Jacob chair protector node that I'm on the shop check com distance a jay route She route take a follow for and it builds up that route using various methods So a kind of kind of like that, okay? Uh, so in phase two uh, if uh, in case of any failure in case of the failure of an active node it must reconfigure the network okay so in case uh, one uh, sensor net node goes down you have to reconfigure the network okay Achha. so uh, awsn function will amra application kothai pai uh, we see them in remote environment monitoring as a weather balance surveillance drone surveillance uh, medical applications uh, 
অ্যাম্বিয়েন্ট ইন্টেলিজেন্স অ্যান্ড মিলিটারি মিলিটারি সাধারণত আমরা ইউজ করি হচ্ছে ওই যে সার্ভেলেন্সের ক্ষেত্রে অথবা হচ্ছে অ্যাম্বুশিংয়ের ক্ষেত্রে অথবা হচ্ছে রেকি করার জন্য আমরা অনেকে ইউজ করি ইন মিলিটারি কেসেস দ্য ইউটিলিটি অফ আ ওয়েল্ড সেন্সার নেটওয়ার্ক ইজ ইন দ্য কালেকটিভ এমার্জেন্ট ইন্টেলিজেন্স অফ অল অ্যাক্টিভ সেন্সার নেট নোটস নট দ্য কন্ট্রিবিউশন অফ এনি পার্টিকুলার ওয়ান ওকে সো ডাব্লিউ এসএন নেটওয়ার্কস আমাকে যেটা করে সেটা হচ্ছে ওভারঅল একটা ইনফরমেশান দেয় হুইচ ইজ ফার বেটার দ্যান ওয়ান সিঙ্গেল নোট ওকে ওর সো দ্য প্রাইমারি কনসার্ন ফর ওয়েল্ড সেন্সার নেটওয়ার্কস ইজ এনার্জি ডাব্লিউ এস এন ইজ অপারেশনাল অ্যাজ লং অ্যাজ মিনিমাম নাম্বার অফ নোটস ইজ অ্যাক্টিভ অ্যান্ড দ্য কানেকটিভিটি অফ দ্য অ্যাক্টিভ নোটস টু ওয়ান অফ দ্য বেস স্টেশনস ইজ মেনটেন ইন ব্যাটারি পাওয়ার সেন্সার নেটওয়ার্ক দ্য লাইফ টাইম অফ দ্য নেটওয়ার্ক ডিপেন্ডস অন দ্য এনার্জি ক্যাপাসিটি অফ দ্য ব্যাটারিজ and the power consumption of a node when a sensor node has depleted its energy supply it will cease to function and cannot forward messages to the neighbors anymore the decision of the nodes the communication protocols and the uh, design of the system and application software for sensor networks are primarily determined by this quest for energy efficiency and low cost okay so uh, wireless sensor network always i am na toiri kori emon bhabe jate she তার মিনিমাম অ্যামাউন্ট অফ যে এনার্জি সেই এনার্জি কনস্ট্রেন্টের মধ্যে তার অপারেশান চালা যেতে পারে ওকে অ্যান্ড দিস ডেফিনেটলি হ্যাজ আ লাইফ টাইম ওকে সো ইউ হ্যাভ টু ডিজাইন ওয়েল সেন্সার নেটওয়ার্কস অ্যাকর্ডিং টু দোজ লাইফ টাইমস ওকে সো ওয়ান কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ আমরা যদি ওয়েল্ড সেন্সার নেটওয়ার্কস প্লাস আর এফ আইডি এই দুটোকে একসাথে করতে চাই হোয়াট ক্যান উই ক্রিয়েট ওকে So RFID infrastructure for the interconnection of autonomous low-cost RFID-based sensor nodes has been proposed and nodes operate without a battery and harvest the energy either from the environment or the electromagnetic radiation emitted by the RFID reader and potential for long-lasting low-cost ubiquitous sensor nodes that may revolutionize many embedded applications. Okay? So ubiquitous bolte amra amon dhore system bojhai which uh, where anything acts like a computer. সো ফর এক্সাম্পল আমরা যদি সাপোজ একটা ফ্রিজ একটা রেফ্রিজারেটার যদি একটা কম্পিউটারের মতো কাজ করে অ্যান্ড ইট হ্যাজ সাম কম্পিউটিং পাওয়ার দেন উই কল দিস হ্যাজ আ ইউবিকুটাস কম্পিউটিং ওকে সো ইউবিকুটাস কম্পিউটিংয়ের সুবিধাটা হচ্ছে ইউ ক্যান ইউজ দিস কম্পিউটেশন পাওয়ার ফ্রম এনিওয়্যার সো আপনি আমি একটা ফোনের কম্পিটিশন পাওয়ার প্লাস একটা ডেস্কটপের কম্পিটিশন পাওয়ার এদেরকে একসাথে মার্চ করে আই ক্যান ক্রিয়েট সামথিং নিউ ওকে সো দ্যাটস কল ইউ পিকুলস কম্পিউটিং আচ্ছা সো দিস ইজ ওয়ান অফ দ্য ইন্ডিকেশন অফ ফিউচার যে ডাব্লিউ এস এন অ্যান্ড আর এফ আই ডিস দিস উইল ইন্টারাক্ট উইথ ইচ আদার টু ক্রিয়েট আ ইন্টেলিজেন্ট নেটওয়ার্ক ওকে উইচ ক্যান আইডেন্টিফাই ইচ আদার থ্রু আর এফ আই ডিস অ্যান্ড রেন কমিউনিকেট অ্যাকর্ডিং টু ওয়েল সেন্স এন্ড নোটস ওকে So now uh, let's start with our third case study is called uh, IoT or Internet of Things okay So uh, IoT component er moddhe sobche important je term ta amra boli seta hocche smart object a smart object is a cyber physical system or an embedded system consisting of a thing okay so internet of things je to seta thing bolte si the physical entity and a component the computer that processes the sensor data and supports a wireless communication link to the internet okay so an example is a smart refrigerator refrigerator keeps track of the availability and expiry date of food items and places orders okay so this is one example a smart tv is one example of iot okay and so on a smart home is an example of iot and so on okay so uh, first let's uh, talk about iot issues So the novelty of the IoT is not in the functional capability of a smart object. Novelty exists in the expected size of billions or even trillions of smart objects that bring about novel technical and societal issues that are related to size. So, আমরা সাধারণত IoT কে তার সে কতটুকু কম্পিটিশন করতে পারছে একটা ডিভাইস কতটুকু কম্পিটিশন করতে পারছে সেটা নিয়ে আমরা एक्चुअली ডিফাইন করি না বরঞ্চ যে বিলিয়নস এন্ড বিলিয়নস অফ আইওটি ডিভাইসেস তারা একসাথে কো এক্সিস্ট করতেছে এবং দে ক্যান কমিউনিকেট উইথ ইচ আদার এই জিনিসটাকে আমরা অ্যাকচুয়ালি মেজার করি ওকে এবং এটাই হচ্ছে আইওটির সাকসেস ওকে 
so they have created very small devices that are capable of computation and they can uh, make our life a lot easier they can take their own decisions and so on okay? so while designing iot's or while uh, uh, using iot devices there are some issues okay so the issues are authentic identification of a smart object autonomic management and self organization of networks of smart objects diagnostics and maintenance and intrusion of privacy and there are some safety issues like autonomous mobile robots and self driving cars so if if you remember uh, আমি জানি না কেউ এটা দেখছেন কিনা অথবা খেয়াল করছেন কিনা টেসলা স্টার্টেড দেয়ার সেলফ ড্রাইভিং কার্স লিটল ওয়াইল ব্যাক বাট আনফর্চুনেটলি প্রবলি গত বছর না তার আগের বছর তাদের একটা সেলফ ড্রাইভিং কার হ্যাড অফ ভেরি ফেটাল অ্যাক্সিডেন্ট অ্যান্ড সামন ডাই এবং এটার পর থেকে টেসলা হ্যাজ উইথ ড্রন অল সর্ট অফ সেলফ ড্রাইভিং কার্স আনটিল অ্যান্ড আনলেস দে হ্যাভ পারফেক্টেড ইট তারা এখনও তাদের রিসার্চ চালা যাচ্ছে বাট কনজিউমার লেভেলে এখন আর কোনো সেলফ ড্রাইভিং কার নাই সো দিজ আর দ্য জেনারেল ইস্যুস অফ আইওটি দ্যাট উই নিড টু লুক ফর বিকজ আমরা যখন আইওটি ডিভাইস বলতেছি আমরা কিন্তু লো পাওয়ার্ড লো কম্পিটিশন পাওয়ার সিস্টেম দেখতেছি সো যে যেটাই লো পাওয়ার্ড লো কম্পিটিশন দ্যাট হ্যাজ টু বি ইনসিকিওর রাইট দেয়ার মে বি অ্যান ইনক্রুশন অফ প্রাইভেসি Uh, there may be some uh, maintenance problem there may be some self organization problem okay so you have to deal with it so uh, we deal with it by using smart coding okay all right so the key technologies for iot are low power wireless communication no need of a physical connection and then uh, gps uh, makes a smart object location and time aware so amra sadharonoto iot device e ei dui dhoroner jinish khub কমনলি দেখি সো একটা বিল্ট ইন ওয়াইফাই তো থাকেই প্লাস একটা বিল্ট ইন জিপিএস কাইন্ড অফ থাকে অ্যান্ড দে আর দেয়ার ক্যান বি এনি সর্ট অফ সেন্সার্স ইন দেয়ার ওকে বাট মোস্ট কমনলি আমরা এই দুটা জিনিস আইওটির মধ্যে দেখি সবচেয়ে বেশি রাইট এখন আসি আমরা এই যে স্মার্ট অবজেক্টের কথা বলছি আইওটিতে এই স্মার্ট অবজেক্টকে আমরা অনেকভাবে ক্যাটাগরাইজ করি ওকে সো ফার্স্ট ক্যাটাগরি ইজ গোল বেসড ক্যাটাগরি ওকে So a goal is an automatic smart object that has access to a domain specific knowledge base is empowered with a reasoning uh, reasoning capabilities to orient itself in the selected application domain so je uh, kono smart object jeta ekta specific goal ase ebong she goal achieve korar jonno she kaj kore seta ke amra goal based smart object boli okay acha so it generally has uh, Uh, reasoning capabilities to orient itself in the selected application domain okay and khub shoja bashay tar specific je goal ta ache eta ke achieve korar jonno tar kichu reasoning capability thake okay acha based on the capability level of a smart object it can be three types one is called activity aware one is called policy aware and one is called process aware okay so activity aware mone mane hocche kono ekta specific activity korteche seita hocche amar goal পলিসি অ্যাওয়ার বলতে হচ্ছে আমি যেই স্ট্যান্ডার্ডে অথবা যেই মেথডে ডাটা পাঠাচ্ছি অথবা যেই মেথডে চালা যাচ্ছি দিস গোজ অন অ্যান্ড আনটিল অ্যান্ড আনলেস সামথিং এলস হ্যাপেন্স ওকে সো দ্যাটস পলিসি অ্যাওয়ার অ্যান্ড দ্য থার্ড ওয়ান ইজ প্রসেস অ্যাওয়ার ওয়্যার ইট রানস আ স্পেসিফিক প্রোগ্রাম ডিপেন্ডিং অন সাম কন্ডিশনস ওকে সো দ্যাটস পল প্রসেস অ্যাওয়ার রাইট সো ইন আইওটি আইওটির গোল অথবা আইওটির ভিশন যেটা চ্যাটস ইস ডেফিনেটলি আ স্মার্ট প্ল্যানেট সো এভরি ডে এভরি ডে থিংস অ্যারাউন্ড আস উইথ এন আইডেন্টিটি ইন সার্ভার স্পেস ক্যাপেবল অফ অ্যাকোয়ারিং ইনফরমেশন অ্যান্ড ইন্টেলিজেন্স সো এটা হচ্ছে আইওটির গোল ওর ইন্টারনেট অফ থিংসের গোল্ড দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড ইকোনমি অ্যান্ড সাপোর্ট সিস্টেম উইল অপারেট মোর স্মুথলি অ্যান্ড এফিসিয়েন্টলি ওকে রাইট ন্যাও কাম সোশ্যাল অ্যান্ড লিগাল ইস্যুজ ইন আইওটি So but the life of the ever citizen will also be affected by changing the relation of power between those that have access to the acquired information and can control the information and that those that do not so iot devices can be hacked with significant dangers to safety and property so this this is kind of a social and legal issue in iot all right so uh, one important thing is amra jokhon i kono iot device ke run korte chai it has to have some iot drivers okay so the iot should extend interoperability of the internet to the universe of heterogeneous smart objects so there has to be some standardized protocol 
which can uh, let devices of different standards of different uh, calibers to communicate between each other okay so iot must is a uniform access pattern to things in the physical world So uh, one important uh, thing of commercial application of IoT, commercial produce for is called logistics. So the first commercial application of a forerunner of the IoT, the RFID, is in the area of logistics. There are many quantitative advantages in using RFID technology in supply chain management. The movement of goods can be uh, tracked in real time. Shelf space can be managed more effectively. Inventory control is improved. The amount of human involvement uh, in the supply chain management is reduced considerably. Okay. So this is one application of IoT in day-to-day uh, -day life, we, uh, which is logistics. Okay. The second one is uh, energy savings. Already today, embedded systems contribute to energy savings in many different sectors of our economy and our life. So the, these have increased fuel efficiency to automotive engines, improved energy efficiency of household appliances, reduced loss in energy converse, uh, conversion and now the future so the future of IoT devices opens many new opportunities for energy savings smart buildings individual climate and lightning control in residential buildings smart grids that reduced energy loss in transmission by installation of smart grids uh, smart meters better coordination of energy supply and energy demand okay so other energy savings physical meetings plus by virtual meetings which we are doing right now uh, delivery of information goods such as the daily paper uh, music and videos by the internet okay so that's how you uh, save energy using the power of iot or internet of things okay all right so one main concern as we already learned of IoT is safety and security. So automated IoT uh, based access control systems to buildings and homes and this wonderfully is used to provide security or safety uh, in our day to day life. IoT based surveillance of public places, smart passports and IoT based identifications, example a smart key to access a hotel room or smart ski lift ticket and car to car and car to infrastructure communication uh, will alert the driver of dangerous traffic scenarios. So I'm going to say one of the vehicle tracker, right? Vehicle tracker is also one example of uh, IoT, which uh, applies in the field of security and safety, right? Otherwise, a smart home uh, is a security and safety application of IoT, right? And so on. So I'm going to say passport, machine readable passports, smart passports. Uh, so these are all uh, examples of IoT. Most of us have NID card, that's why we have to use it. So NID card, that's why we have a smart card, right? Which is another example of uh, uh, IoT, right? Internet of Things. Uh, one more application is industrial application. So computerized observation and monitoring of industrial equipment reduces maintenance costs and improves the safety in the plant. So account card, basically, the industrial plant are fully automated, right? They uh, work. Uh, uh, without the intervention of any humans and that's a wonderful uh, wonderful application of IoT okay a smart object can monitor its own operation and call for uh, preventive or spontaneous maintenance in case a part wears out or a physical uh, fault is diagnosed uh, automated fault diagnosis and simple maintenance are absolutely an essential prerequisites for the wide deployment of the IoT technology in the domain of an ambient intelligence okay so ambient intelligence will come like uh, artificial intelligence or uh, hybrid intelligence where uh, uh, devices can think along with humans okay all right so this is uh, application of IOT in industrial space okay uh, one more important application is medical uh, application so the wide deployment of IOT technology in the medical domain is anticipated health monitoring heart rate blood pressure etc precise control of drug delivery by smart implant okay also uh, smart surgery uh, 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 equipment such to say which can assist doctors in uh, doing surgery uh, or automated surgery uh, body area network etc part of the clothing can monitor the behavior of impaired persons and send out alarm messages if an emergency is developing smart levels on drugs can help a patient to take the right medication at the right time and enforce drug compliance okay 
So examples of a hard pacemaker can transmit important data via Bluetooth link to a mobile phone that is carried to the shirt pocket. The mobile phone can analyze the data and call a doctor in case of an emergency develops. So I'm going to sensor on the smart watch, fitness trackers, and they can do exactly these things, uh, these medical operations uh, now on the fly, right? So this is one uh, wonderful application of IoT in medical field. So uh, now uh, there are some technical issues uh, in IoT is the first one is definitely internet integration. Okay? So uh, how can I uh, integrate one hardware to be enabled to communicate with the internet? Okay? So guaranteeing the safety and information security of IoT based systems is con uh, considered to be a very difficult task because our uh, case the hardware is different. right? So, even the power requirement is different. So, definitely, the protocol will be different. And definitely, the security system will be different. Not all, for example, we have a mobile phone, a specific operating system, right? But not all hardwares are uh, that much expensive that they can uh, use one specific OS security patches to ensure security. There are very smaller. Uh, elements too, right? He wanted a smartwatch. A smartwatch, uh, dummy smartwatch was a com dummy smartwatch was right. So, dummy smartwatch, but they can very easily use Google Wear uh, OS or to watch iOS or to work on a specific operating system that I use for the body. But just think about low powered smartwatches that still communicates to the internet, but Tara Kintu Kono specific uh, security protocol use for the So, definitely. Shay shop case a security and sure kora or information leak uh jatana hai shita definitely is a difficult task. So many smart objects will be protected from general internet access by a tight firewall to avoid that an adversary can acquire control of a smart object. So it was in the world that can have a smart watch we ensure it by pairing it with one specific uh, device right once it's paired with one specific device it cannot be used otherwise so this is one example of security uh, uh, technical issues of security uh, while doing internet integration in a smart device okay all right so uh, one uh, uh, important uh, aspect is uh, in iot is naming and identification so I'm a actor smart object a key name that book key the honor identification could go it out the important genius so a well thought out naming architecture is in order to be able to identify a smart object and to establish an access path to the object is essential so uh, isolated objects the following two different object names have to be distinguished when we refer to the simple case of an isolated object so like a singular object with a case a camera actually isolate or identify so the first one is unique object identifier or UID refers to the physical identity of the specific object then the electronic product code well you know the electronic product code EPC of the RFID community such as an UID object type name refers to a class of objects that ideally have the same properties uh, and object role name in a given use context an object plays a specific role that is denoted by the object role name okay so there can be a specific host, uh, there can be a specific uh, node or, or something like that. So these are role names to be exact. Uh, so those are actually uh, when we are using a isolated object, like a single uh, object camera with the naming of my definition code. But there can be uh, composite objects when uh, whenever a number of objects are integrated to form a composite object. A new hole, a new object is created that has an emerging uh, identity that goes beyond the identities of the constituent objects. So the composite object resembles a new concept and that requires a new name. Okay. All right. Uh, finally, uh, there is one important thing is uh, IoT Shate Kubishi Amrajita use kori akhon shita hoche cloud computing okay so onekei jeta kore shita iot shita cloud computing e onekei milaye fele these are actually a bit different things 
So smart objects that have access to the internet can take advantage of services that are offered by the cloud. Okay. So IoT or cloud computing are not the same. Cloud computing means uh, in any uh, online facility where you can do the computation for some specific fee. Okay. But IoT is a device which can connect to the internet through some protocols. Okay. So these are two different things. So definitely, if you cloud computing, it's the best way to use it as smart objects. Uh, the division of work between a smart object and the cloud will be determined to a considerable degree by privacy and energy considerations. So if the energy required to execute a task locally is larger than the energy required to send the task parameters to a server to the cloud, then the task is a candidate for remote processing. Okay? And however, there are other aspects that influence the decision about work distribution. Uh, which are autonomy of the smart object, response time, reliability, and security. Okay. Yeah, I'm like data key actually cloud computation as you know, part the parbukina to some other places depending on the security protocols or reliability or response time and so on. But uh, IoT plus cloud computing is the new future, okay? So where uh, each smart object now can access uh, cloud computation servers uh, and they can act uh, as very high uh, computational devices okay. and uh, with this we will uh, end uh, today's lecture okay so this is the second part of our lecture 8 uh, we will complete the third part in our next class okay so I think today we understand understood everything that uh, we saw these are just three case studies remember these are uh, not our exact syllabus these are just uh, for you to understand the different aspects of uh, internet of things okay you don't need to memorize anything from here but you have to understand the underlying ideas the underlying protocols the underlying uh, security issues and so on okay so i think you understood it today uh, thank you for listening to this uh, video lecture